experience perfection, but when I was a young gymnast and I was quite good, I always was trained two or three levels above what I competed. Yeah. So if I was competing a certain skill, my coach would always teach me well above that. So when I went into competition, that was easy to do. But one thing he did do that, looking back, I didn't like, was he'd get me to intimidate my other competitors by doing really impressive skills around them, to shake them. I never didn't know that at the time, I was a kid. But looking back, that, that attitude and I think that experience for me forced me to create perfection on myself. I must be better than everybody else in that situation. And when you go to an audition and you don't get it, you're like, but I'm good. I am, I'm good. Runway, to me, I go straight onto the runway like as a, a professional model. That's what I try and get in my students' heads or my clients' heads straight away. So you might be wearing your own garment, but I want you to think like this is a label. Your job is to sell that garment as part of a range for people to buy. It's actually not so much about you. It's about the garment. For you to know these are the rules, what's accepted. Educate yourself, but Get online and you will confuse yourself. So I think it comes through places like this where we can educate. Because talking to industry professionals, people that are in the industry, people that are working in the industry or been in the industry or have seen the evolution of the industry, they're the ones you should listen to.